So, Michael, thank you for being here with us today. Thanks uh, with so Los much for having me. And sharing your book with us. Um, before we get into the question, do you want to tell us a little bit about the book? Before we sure. Ask the it's the story of uh, Danny Zemsky, about a 14-year-old boy mm -hmm. growing up uh, in Detroit at a very... Uh, uh, you know, a, a very tough time in the history of the city. It's mm -hmm. shortly after the 1967 rebellion, mm -hmm. where there was all this unrest and and violence. So, in the period of time where the book takes place, it's still you know Detroit is still kind of reeling mm -hmm. and very divided at that time. And uh, Danny's everything in Danny's world is changing. Mm -hmm. He's uh, you know. Uh, his his high school is changing, his neighborhood, his city, and even himself physically is changing. So, so it's really a, a coming of age story. And, and in the book, uh, music winds up being Danny's uh, sort of uh, sanctuary. It's what what kind of saves him, mm -hmm. and especially rock and roll music yeah. in Detroit. There's a lot of Detroit music in the book. And uh, because you know Detroit has a, a really rich musical history, mm -hmm. so it was something that uh, that was really important for me to to write. And I think in a lot of ways it was a way to to kind of even though it's fiction, I think it was a way to do some detective work mm -hmm. on my own past to kind of see the you know why I became the person I became because I, I mm -hmm. came up pretty much in the same period as Danny did. So it's pretty much going through. To the first question, right. you know, as to why this particular time in Detroit, that, like you mentioned, it, it's violent and, and divided, um, inspired you to write the story. So obviously you started talking about that there with your personal Right, yeah, I, because I think I was exploring it because I did really go through that, that period. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to, I, I think, sort out uh, just the, the confusion of being... Uh, a young person during that, that period in Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, there was all this incredible music in the air, then we had a lot of iconic radio stations mm -hmm. and there were some pretty famous uh, rock bands that came out of uh, Detroit in the late mm -hmm. 60s, early 70s, the MC5, mm -hmm. Iggy and the Stooges, and uh, Iggy who now yeah. lives in Miami. Uh, <laughs> Getting that tan. <laughs> and uh, you know, so, uh, but I, when I was writing the book, I felt like it can't just be about this kid and his love of music. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think when the book really started to come together is when I, I realized all the things that were in the air at that time in Detroit. There was all this music, mm -hmm. but there was also all this this rage and fear mm -hmm. and uh, basic ugliness that was that was there, and it was kind of uh, kind of affecting you know, everybody. Mm -hmm. And so it, that, that for me is when, you know, kind of where the music met whatever else was in the air, mm -hmm. the bad things, the toxicity, whatever. Mm -hmm. and that was for me when the book started to feel like it was coming together. So maybe for, even though it was negative moments, mm -hmm. it could have been an inspiration for all these um, musicians to That's inspire right. them to, you know, come out and maybe have this writing material and maybe the music influence and help those going through the same trials? Yeah, I, I think time. absolutely. I think a lot of people were trying to sort things out, mm -hmm. including some of the, uh, you know, some of the bands mentioned in the book. I, mm -hmm. I mentioned the MC5, and, and uh, their first album has a, a song called The Motor City Is Burning, yeah. and it's a John Lee Hooker song, but still, it was very... And, and they were a kind of a, a very revolutionary band, too. So I think in a lot of ways they were trying to sort things out and try to make things uh, better in their own mm -hmm. way. You know, maybe it didn't always seem that way, but yeah. uh, I think that and was part of it. some sort of influence to draw out from what's, what's happening. Absolutely, You know, yeah. give it another direction in a way. Yes, exactly. So. Sort of maybe you know, go after what was broken for so long mm -hmm. and see if they could change it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Now the second question is, um, you know, music is, is an outlet for a lot of people around the world. And um, however, uh, we know that music can affect emotions, right? So do you think that it can influence a person's way to react towards a certain situation? That's interesting. Um, you know, I, I think for Danny in the book, like I said, the music is, is sort of his safe place. Mm -hmm. It's it's a kind of a, a, 
a sanctuary, a sort of a place to go when, when nothing else in the world makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I think because he has music, it does change the way he, uh, you know, he reacts to the things that happen to him. And a lot of things happen to him in the course mm -hmm. of the book. Uh, and, and so I think it gives him a place to, kind of a place to hide, but also I think it becomes uh, sort of a source of his power too, mm -hmm. and, and even eventually kind of an agent for change. And, yeah. and he feels like with music he can, you know, maybe he can drown out some of the, the, the unpleasantness in the world and mm -hmm. the, 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 the dumb ideas and the, the horrible voices and, and uh, you know. give him the courage. It does, it so. does. It, it, it changes him and, and he says that in the, of course, the book, I can feel the music changing. <laughs> and, and it makes him stronger. Oh, it's and the influence, the music. Exactly. He feels the music changing him. Yeah. So yes. he feels that influence. Yeah, so I think he feels a lot of the, the strength of that, that mm -hmm. music and, and the power of it. The power of music. And, uh, and it helps him to, to pull back a little power himself. Nice. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank and you for having the book, me. And it's a pleasure having you here with us oh, and in Miami. For, yeah, it's and great to be enjoy here. Enjoy the pasta pastelito. I will. I'm, I'm still working on this croquetta, but uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to eat it after we're done. So, Perfect. Thank <laughs> so, you so much. Thank you so much.